field trip itinerary. Students will be assigned to a chaperone for check-in and supervision when needed. Students should bring money for eating and possible shopping. Please discuss with parents the amount of money to bring. I have money. If you have money, why were you asking me to buy you a sweater? So it was cute. But you have money. Mm -hmm. I'm saving it. <laughs> it's, it's corduroy. Yeah, right. It's corduroy, Dad. It's corduroy. Then spend your money on your corduroy. Y101, AJ in the morning. Distraction is the name of the game today. It is all about distraction. Hey, I've got something on my lens. Speaking of distractions. If I were to put a headline on today, it would be distraction. Ooh, fancy brush. I know. Started at 5.55 in the morning. I heard you get up. Actually, it started way before 5.55 in the morning. I was up and I walked into your room and I go, Dad? I did, you didn't hear me? You were brushing your teeth and you, I remember, I really do. My day started last night. I could not sleep at all. I wasn't feeling good. Mom kept coughing. And finally, when I just barely closed my eyes, I fall asleep. Mom wakes me up and says, Get up! 5.55! I've got to be on the air at 6. Went to work, got there 30 minutes late, saw my boss on my way in so I couldn't act like I was there the whole time. So that's how it started. And then the distractions started. Then, I'm talking on the radio, and out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody walking outside of the window. And I'm up on the third floor. It's impossible for people to be walking outside my window. But sure enough, there was somebody walking outside my window. Oh my, no way. You could not pay me enough. If somebody said a million bucks, AJ, get you up here, no way. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. With like no like safety cord or anything. But just to give you an idea, look how high up we are. Uh-oh, where'd he go? Oh no! Oh, there he is. I don't want to scare him. What would it take for you to go up there? Million dollars, would you do it? <sighs> yeah, right. I've got to concentrate here and I can't. My palms are sweaty. My hands are shaking more than usual. I'm seeing people walk over here in the corner of my eye when I'm trying to do tell me something good. Okay, time to get back to the show. Still, I'm not feeling good and I'm feeling tired. Then, after I get off the air, I've got water dripping from my ceiling. And I'm supposed to sit at my computer, but I keep hearing whoop, 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 whoop. And it wasn't like it was like a consistent whoop, whoop. It was sporadic, so it'd be like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> It was really distracting. Like if it was every, if it was like a constant rhythm, a cycle, that'd be cool. But this was whoop, whoop, whoop. If that wasn't bad, I also heard drilling. Somewhere in the building, somebody's drilling into the wall. So you have those two combinations. All of a sudden, my computer in, the, in my desk stops working, and I can't use the program that I normally use to edit sound. Keep in mind, I had no sleep. I woke up all jarred. Take up Evan from cross country, pick up dinner, take him to soccer practice, which is where we're at now. She had a cross country meet, which she placed 16th place. That's very impressive. <sighs> what a day. But looking back, I think the, um, the most memorable part of the entire morning show, aside from the people walking outside, was the story about the guy who wanted to steal a monkey for his girlfriend. How romantic is that? He's like 24 years old, like New Zealand. So he breaks into the zoo, successfully gets into this monkey enclosure. Then he falls, breaks his leg, sprains his foot, knocks out some of his teeth, 
managed to get away without the monkey and then gets arrested. Police track him down and it turns out he has warrants and he's crazy and he had some sort of like um, uh, road rage type of thing. So at the end of the story, girlfriend never got her monkey. That to me was the saddest part. Instead of the guy getting hurt and everything, I think girlfriend not getting her monkey. Imagine being told, honey, I'm gonna get you the cutest monkey in the world. Then it, like the initial reaction, you'd probably be like, yeah, right, you're gonna get me a monkey. But after you get over that and you start thinking of all the fun possibilities, yeah, right, you're gonna get me a monkey. How freaking cool is that gonna be when I have my own monkey? We're gonna go on trips together. We're gonna do YouTube videos together. We're gonna go everywhere together, me and my monkey. And then when your boyfriend tells you, honey, I couldn't get you the monkey, how crushed you would be. How sad that would make you. Your dreams of having a monkey, gone. All gone. <laughs> and then you look at your boyfriend, who you thought once upon a time was good looking, and you see he's missing teeth. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you knock out your teeth trying to steal your monkey? <laughs> <laughs> What's worse? What's worse? Getting your teeth knocked out, being the guy in the story, or being the girlfriend? Which one's worse? Probably the guy. Getting your teeth knocked out? Yeah, you gotta do all the pain. <laughs> what about having the dreams of your, having your own monkey? You probably text people. You probably told people, I'm getting a monkey today. You sent text messages to everybody, I'm getting my monkey today. <laughs> But you were told you were getting a monkey. You were looking forward to your monkey. I love, who doesn't love monkeys? Two votes for the guy. I'm voting for the lady in the story who was looking forward to her monkey and never got her monkey. What's your say? What do you say? Monkeys? Or is it the guy? Which one had it worse? We'll see how tomorrow goes on the year. Tonight, I'm gonna get a full night's sleep as soon as we get out of here at this soccer practice. Gonna go home, gonna shower, gonna relax. And tomorrow, brand new day. Tomorrow's Friday, we're gonna feel good. We're gonna play on the air, so make sure you listen. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m., Y101. And if you listen, make sure you leave a comment saying, hey, I listen to you every morning. I would appreciate that. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit like, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon.